uh, you know hey guys hope you guys doing great in this pandemic and uh, today in this video I'm going to explain you how you can create a hair segmentation model and I name this model as hair net as you can see here this model is taking input it is capable to segment head and hair portion so let's move toward the main code and I'll explain you how you can do it by yourself if not followed properly the source code version uh, the source code link is given in the discussion section of the video so guys prior to create this model what you need you need data set so data set my uh, my input data set samples are like this containing very high dimensional images of celebrities and their hair segmented part these are some samples my original data set containing 29,300 high dimensional images <coughs> so these are input images and these are my masks you can see here lots of images lots of high dimensional masks <coughs> So guys, once you have this data set, if you don't have this data set, just contact us and get it from us. So once you have very high dimensional segmented data set, now it's time to create a model which can be trained on upon this data set. So how to create this model? You require TensorFlow version 2 in you uh, and a Linux machine with graphical processing unit of 12 GB graphic card minimum but anyways if you don't have this one you can use Google Colab and do the same thing over there so guys let me show you my model first <coughs> uh, I hope the guys who actually seeing this video have some prior knowledge of deep learning and must read if he a person is doing segmentation it must read about the unit unit is basically used for medical image segmentation process uh, for doing the hair segmentation I actually adopted unit uh, for the same task because medical image segmentation is rather difficult than the hair segmentation so unit actually perform as you can as I in the beginning section of the video you you have seen that the model is performing well let me show you how my model is look like and what are the all trainable parameters so <clears throat> this is a segmentation process and, uh, and for the segmentation your model must capable to do two things one is down sampling the images and second is up sampling to the mask so this model containing total 11 convolutional layer for down sampling and the same for for the up sampling first my input image shape is 224 by 224 and number of band is 3 rgb band move to our first convolutional layer do the same and number of filter i had used is 16 then process of batch normalization activation batch normalization is used for normalizing the input batch as I have lot of data sets so I use no batch normalization is performed well activation function I have used here ReLU and max pooling is due for finding the most dominating pixels on the process image and do the further down sampling so output of this max pooling is 1212 112 and the number of band remains same as in convolutional first layer this process keeps repeating till convolutional 11th block because at this time I have total number of filter 512 input data matrix shape is 7 by 7 then it's time to perform the up sample 14 28 56 112 and finally 224 224 and 1 1 means gray scale my mask is gray scale I have shown you in the beginning section of the video so this is the model I have used to train 
the algorithm for visualization i actually save the tensor board graph and you can see here it in tensor board the same model <coughs> this is the tensor board graph you can see here here it take the input process the first convolution back normalization activation this activation first activation will meet to the last convolution transpose layer as having the same shape 224 224 and here the down sampling using max pooling is <coughs> happening as you can see here guys this blocks this this one this one convolution 2d batch normalization activation it's actually not meeting anywhere why this block look like this because whenever we do the segmentation this block act as leaking block why do we need leaking block so that the model get best trained corresponding to any type of images and also adaptable to next challenges which is being faced by the pre trained model so this leaky block is really important and this leaky block concept comes from unet okay guys this is all about model now how to train this model let me show you my train script okay this is our main file main file main file what main file is doing main file loading all the images from image folder all the images from mask folder okay do the pre processing blah 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 you can see this entire file on on the link given underneath but the main thing let me show you what <coughs> the main part of let me explain the main part of the program the main part of program consist what we need we need to load all images from image folder okay and manage the corresponding mask of that images in a in the same sequence for perform for actually matching the same sequence what we do load the image by the name split the id get the name of that image instead of jpg put png and get the mask of that image from the mask folder and that's the main concept to keep the track keep both input and output matrix uh, properly so that our model will not get distracted all after loading all those images i put those images into x and y array x containing input image and y containing the segmented image 255 for binarizing the images keeping only the value which is greater than 0.5 just for the sake that we are doing segmentation and mask is binarized one once we have all these images in xn and yn array it's time to split for training and validation i have used 10% data for validation and rest data for the training more data more <coughs> better model okay now it's here i load the main model from main model file declare the input shape 224 by 224 and number of band 3 this is my input image feed this input shape into the main model and get the model parameter summary here and the summary i have already explained to you this one once i have model it's time to actually some for the visualization purpose i have used tensor board i also use variable learning rate with the help of reducing lr on plateau the variable learning rate actually help us enable us to get the best fit model for training all you need to do call model dot fit x train y train and validation x valid y valid once the model is being trained for 50 epoch i save that model with the help of simple call function tf dot save model dot save and it actually export the model into a lightweight model let me show you the lightweight model this one 3 mb containing all the train parameters <clears throat> let me show you how the model is actually performing at the time of you can see here it's a accuracy matrix it start with zero epoch and keeps improving and in at the end of 19th epoch it actually achieve accuracy around 90.5.89 
<coughs> so you can I have also export that model into lightweight model these two files you can actually get from the website and link is given underneath in the description section of the video uh, where this light mod weight model is used these lightweight model is directly embedded to Android application and used to create lightweight mobile application fully compatible with Android and iOS both uh, because of time limitation I am actually moving to I'm not showing you the entire training process that uh, that actually take time I'm moving how the save weight can be used for the prediction so <coughs> once the model is being saved uh, with the help of TensorFlow tool you need you can load model directly into your workspace by tensorflow.tf.savemodel.load and give the path of that folder where the save model is being stored for get for feeding the image you need to get the input uh, layer where you actually process the image so for getting this uh, load dot this is a default def uh, already defaultly available in tensorflow 2 for getting that uh, that input layer uh, just call just call serving default and you get infer infer actually take input image every time you read the image reshape it in 124 by 24 by 3 convert to tensor so that um, <coughs> cap compatible to the in uh, with the converting to tensor make images compatible with the model now it's time to feed that image into infer i'll be getting an output array output dictionary containing uh, the layer name of output layer output layer and corresponding that layer name the output mask can be obtained so my output layer name is convert 2d and then i'll be getting predictions prediction array then reshape using numpy into form and to shape of 224 224 and get the required shape then i use transfer function to map the output mask into the original image here and um, uh, or at the time of training as I process those images into uh, you know only taken those value which is greater than 0 0.5 so I converted those values here as well that greater than 0 0.5 will become 255 and lesser than will become 0 0.5 and map the, the mask into original image with a weight you know weight means uh, how the color should look like this is all about program let's run the main model and prediction file and see how the output look like and the output is looking pretty awesome i have taken some images test images from internet some from uh, the database test set and uh, guys for getting this entire version just click on the below mention link and it that link will redirect you to the main website and main website containing all the source code.